watching 10 Minutes on Topic here at Davis Media Access. I'm Autumn Labbe Renault. Today we're talking about the Davis Sustainability and Resiliency Campaign, which our wonderful local nonprofit, Cool Davis, is currently recruiting a team to re-envision a community-driven household greenhouse gas reduction campaign that reaches a broader audience and helps them get things done and sends a message of resiliency. Joining me today is campaign manager, Leslie Krenna. Leslie, thanks so much for coming on today. Thank you, Autumn. And I really want to thank you also for your work in the community. Such just very, I admire your work. Thank you so much. All right, let's start with the mission of Cool Davis, a nonprofit that's been around for a while. Not everybody may know. So let's start there. So our mission is to... Um, inspire households to reduce greenhouse gas emissions very simply. Um, we derived that from um, working with the city of Davis and the 2010 um, Climate Action and Adaptation Plan. And that explains why we are, you know, our scope is the household level. And uh, initially we were a volunteer organization and um, we have reached you know, tens of thousands of folks in that time, and the community has really benefited from our programs. Um, we have um, focused in on um, a lot of high value actions in our um, more targeted campaigns, rooftop solar, electric vehicles. Um, mm -hmm. And then our coalition and you know, an extensive list of partners, including the city of Davis, have done a lot of other really important work um, over those 10 years. Great. You said something about households. So let me ask a specific question. In terms of climate crisis, I know that I hear an awful lot about industrial uh, polluters and really large scale emissions. And yet being here in a, in a relatively small community, this is at the, the household level. Can you uh, dive into that a little bit more? Why, why are we doing it at the household level? So certainly advocacy at state, national, inter international level is critical to um, address this crisis. Um, it's just that our scope as an organization happens to be working with households at, like I said, as um, uh, with uh, the city of Davis. That's not mm -hmm. to say that all those other levels of work aren't necessary. In fact, this is, you know, the crisis of our lives. So every, uh, we all have to work on all of this at all levels. Right. So it's really about act locally. And then, you know, as you mentioned, that is the foundation of, of Cool Davis. So why is this particular campaign, why is this work relevant and important for members of our, uh, our community at this moment in time? In other words, why do we need to be invested in this? Right. So I don't need to remind people too much that there are mounting pressures and climate impacts happening. You know, this summer with the wildfires and the poor air quality that we've had for several years now, drought, our tree canopy is stressed from drought. Um, our mm -hmm. food system is, is, you know, experiencing stresses as a result of that. The pandemic, um, you know, economic um, disruptions, um, continuing racial and environmental um, injustice all of those things are um, going to continue and, and to increase. And we need to be, um, uh, we're getting down to the wire on this and we really need to get busy. Um, the, the climate um, is uh, definitely continuing to heat up and, you know, we are experiencing those impacts now. So, you know, we, we need to do everything we can as soon as possible. Yes. Let's dig into the campaign specifically. First, what kind of community participation are you looking for? So we are, this campaign is really a re-envisioning of our existing main campaign. Mm -hmm. um, we've done a really good job at Cool Davis of um, reaching those folks that are already motivated, already resourced, already empowered, um, to, to act on our checklist of items, but, um, we need to branch out. We need to, um, really serve our whole community. 
And um, we also need to recognize, um, and the community needs to recognize that those with resources have a responsibility to put those resources towards solving this problem. But those with without resources need empowerment. They need um, they need resources to be able to act on this. And one of those segments is renters. Uh, mm -hmm. Our community is a half renters, and sometimes renters don't have the ability to um, make changes um, in their home that can uh, result in greenhouse gas uh, reduction. So we are definitely um, going to be reaching out to multifamily communities um, and as well as people of color mm -hmm. at translating our materials into Spanish and Chinese. Um, you know, we are um, wanting to reach everyone. Mm -hmm. All right. So what is the process for getting involved and kind of what, what's on offer as part of this campaign? So we are, um, we've always been really good at using um, strategic methods and data, but what we're looking at is, um, um, you know, we need uh, more energy, we need more volunteers, we need more resources. We're looking at, um, we're considering all kinds of um, activities and options um, from, um, you know, uh, home tours, comedy, um, uh, performances, public art, uh, what we call the cool kit, which is um, um, basically a home kit of goodies that helps you to, you know, including like an LED light bulb or a set of LED light bulbs, um, mm -hmm. contests, um, messaging campaigns for the, you know, that would reach the entire community, working with our partners, City of Davis Communications, and we have a lot of other partners that can help us get these messages out. We also want to work with property owners. You know, we want to work with um, folks that um, are in a position of leadership, but we also really want folks um, who um, are just represent the community. So mm -hmm. we're putting together a task force um, and we are um, hoping it will be representative. Um, and we want to make sure that this is an inclusive process and um, that we're including um, historically marginalized communities and um, also we, we want to include and always have included expert advisors, but we don't want them driving the show necessarily. We want them okay. to, to, be, um, to help educate our task force members um, and um, do some audience research, reach out to these communities and find out what their, um, the barriers are, what the, um, the difficulties are that they're encountering that make it mm -hmm. difficult, for instance, to um, get an electric vehicle. That's one of the most important um, and or other alternative transportation is really the best right. way to um, reduce our emissions. And um, not everybody has the resources or the information they need to, to adopt those behaviors. Yeah. For sure. And education is so important. You, you touched on this earlier, but if, if, you know, you're really concerned about how to pay your rent or getting food on the table or getting sick from COVID, these are not the things that are first and foremost in your mind necessarily. And yet they are important. Um, the summer has been hot. We've been without rainfall. We know, we kind of all know what we're, what we're up against. All right, we're down to our last minute here at 10 minutes. So uh, let's make sure we, there's an email address where people can contact you and maybe let them know what happens after they email you. Will they, will they hear back from you? What's that process? Absolutely. So I will respond to your email. Um, the task force in particular, we've got it broken down into two phases and we're hoping for a commitment from folks um, for about nine months to um, work on the planning of this campaign and, and do some audience research. And then the second phase will be um, implementation and evaluation, and in which case um, we're expecting maybe some turnover or have to sort of re-recruit after that for that second phase. Okay. All right. Thanks so much for joining us. I've been talking with Leslie Krenna, campaign manager for Cool Davis's Davis Sustainability and Resiliency Campaign. Um, we've flashed the email address a couple of times. Check it out. Get involved. Make a difference. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you, Autumn.